When people hear about facial rejuvenation, it's more than just surgery. It's, it's all about non-invasive procedures, including fat transfer, uh, lasers, Botox, uh, different things that you can do to the face. So it's not always about surgery. So when I say facial rejuvenation, you're just improving the face. You're not, you're not actually performing major surgery on the face. One of the things that I found to be very successful as part of the facial rejuvenation procedures is fat transfer. Facial rejuvenation using fat transfer is very effective because you can use it on men and women. Especially a lot of people are trying to get back into the workforce. Uh, they're coming in and they just want something really quick. They want something that they can get done and then within a matter of a couple of weeks they're back on track. Um, so fat transfer is really good for that. You can put it in, in different areas of the face like lifting the eyebrows. You can put it under the, the orbital rims and the, the nasolabial folds. You can put it in the lips. Um, and then you can do some laser work. And just, just little simple things like that can take the patient a long way without doing major surgery. Fat transfer is basically taking fat from another part of the body, harvesting it, and rinsing it of all of the uh, oils and then putting it back in somewhere else. We put it in, in particular spaces within the face and it stays there. It's not just a, a gel filled area. It's, uh, it, when I put it in, it does stay. It doesn't move around. A lot of people ask that question. Uh, but, but it's their own fat, it's their own body, and so there's not going to be an immune problem or a rejection problem or infection. The complications are relatively low as long as you use uh, good surgical techniques and adhere to good surgical techniques. It's known to last for several years, if not forever, but you have to also remember that the body and the face do change over time. So you're going to lose weight, gain weight, uh, the facial anatomy is going to change, the bone structure is going to change soft tissue will change. So it's, it's a procedure that lasts a lot longer than your hyaluronic acid fillers or these dermal fillers that we put in. And I usually use those for temporary results, results that you maybe want to get uh, three to nine months out of. But if somebody wants longer lasting effects, then I'll use a fat transfer.